The AAT features a built-in website for easy access to configuration as well as profile creation, management, and printing of reports. Users can connect to the website using a computer or laptop browser such as Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, and others. If the optional Wi-Fi support was purchased, users can also connect using any wireless device such as a PDA or iOS device, including iPad and iPhone. Note, an internet connection is not required to access the AAT's internal website, regardless of which interface method is used. All that is needed is the AAT and any desktop, laptop, or other wireless capable device. This video makes the following assumptions. One, you are currently running release four or later of the AAT firmware. Two, you have watched this segment on connecting to the AAT via RJ45 or wireless. Three, you are currently connected to the AAT's internal website and are sitting at the login screen. If you are not currently at the login screen for the website, please do that now and then return to this video in order to continue. If you have not yet upgraded to release four of the firmware, please contact SunSight Instruments to find out more information about this release. Many optimizations have been made in Release 4, most notably a simplified interface that is much better suited to running on smartphones and tablets and other devices that have smaller displays, and it also allows optional fields to be edited after capture. Keep in mind that the new firmware upgrade is free, so please go to the SunSight support page and log in to download the firmware or contact SunSight to obtain this important update for your AAT. You may also want to review the firmware update video for information on installing the new version. Prior to release 4, two different user roles were supported by the AAT's internal website, supervisor and standard user. Beginning with release 4, the capabilities of these roles are identical, so it no longer matters whether you are logged in as a supervisor or one of the custom user accounts. With either account, you will be able to access all functionality of the built-in website. Check with your supervisor to determine which login account you'll be using and to obtain the username and password for logging into the AAT's built-in website. SunSight provides the initial credentials for your supervisor account when you register your AAT. Be sure to log into the support portal on sunsight.com and register your device to stay informed of updates and other important information about your AAT. In the username field, enter the supplied username you were given or supervisor. In the password field, enter the supplied password you were given. Press the login button and the home page of the AAT's built-in website will be displayed. You are now ready to create and manage profiles, perform captures, print reports, and perform any other file management and or calibration functions. Let's review the new layout of the built-in website. The homepage title is called Profiles, Captures, Reports, and everything has been streamlined to make this one page all you need to perform the day-to-day -day functions via the web interface. Right below the page title is the navigation area, sweet and simple, and it resizes automatically for smaller screens. So you don't have to spend all your time scrolling right and left if you're working on a device with a smaller display. Below the navigation area is the New Profile button. This feature is used to create new profiles and it's covered in great detail in the video segment on creating profiles with the AAT web interface. Below the new profile button is a list of buttons, one for each site that is stored in the AAT's internal memory. Keep in mind that when you first log into your AAT or after performing an erase all contents operation, there won't be any sites listed. Instead, the report options will immediately follow the new profile button. In our example, however, there are several sites stored in the AAT's memory to illustrate a layout that's more similar to what you will encounter. The name of the button is the site name so that you can quickly navigate to the site that you need to work on. To the right of each site button is a report button, which allows you to quickly run the site alignment results report for that specific site. After the Sites button is the All Reports button. That will create a site alignment results report of all sites that are currently stored in the memory. And finally, the Report Options area that allows you to choose which measurement data is listed in your reports. 
The new web interface is very fast, greatly simplified, and will allow you to achieve much greater efficiency with the AAT in the field. There are several additional videos that go into greater detail on each facet of operating the AAT via the built-in web interface. Be sure to watch each of them to see just how the web interface can help you be more efficient with the AAT. This concludes the video on the AAT website login.